welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to be doing spectating randoms a lot of obviously this is a pretty popular thing on the series when we spectating solos we don't know the strength of the lobby obviously i'm going to have that below my webcam you'll see who i'm spectating how high their kills are kd wins that type of stuff uh, we're going to end up spectating this random guy and we'll kind of see where it goes enjoy the video please do me a favor hit the like button goal on today's video is 8,000 likes so really be appreciative if you can go ahead and hit that number there it goes this guy's already dead if you're brand new looking to find your way back for more call of duty content just double check make sure you are subscribed with notifications on let's go ahead and get into it looks a little hot over here at millie right like pretty crazy top zone we'll probably have it end somewhere towards the middle over here this guy already got two kills cleaned up there and you'll see the lobby dies off every 30 seconds we lose about 10 to 15 players and it will probably only have about 20 players by the time we get oh this guy's dead and we're instantly destroyed by the floor m16 pretty nice well, this is actually the most action packed that we've had at the start of it right so it kind of goes like that let's see what we get so this guy already has his two kills. The other guy went to the gulag. One of the reasons we do win our gulag and we come back, so we're more likely to spectate somebody um, that is actually still has a gulag that's going to probably play a little bit more aggressive. That guy got destroyed too, man. What the hell? We're bad luck right now. This is going crazy already. Um, so then we end up spectating people that are going to be more likely in the action versus a guy coming back from the gulag is going to be more likely to land safe regain it's gonna try to increase the odds of us getting a better player towards the top of the lobby i don't know how any good uh, how good any of these players are it's kind of hard to tell but it is what it is so there is a bertha nearby somebody rotated probably from fire over here it's pretty good he's checking things out he doesn't have auto attack sprint marking his buy somebody's on the vehicle to the left he has a lot of time to go ahead and go somebody got out the vehicle um, they probably heard a chest in this, so they got out for that. This is a terrible spot. Maybe you should push up to the rock on the right. You can see the guy. You got to push up to the right rock. You don't have any cover. He doesn't have any cover here. He might get this kill because he has a, an M16. He's getting landed on. Somebody's jumping in the Bertha. And he got destroyed. He's right in the open. He's going to get run over. Oh, he made it in. Nice. That guy's going to take off. Yeah, this dude's on 105 ping. In case you guys are wondering why I keep looking over here, I am doing this live on Twitch. So if you want to check out a live stream, we just won 9 out of 10 matches. Um, it was a good time hanging out, talking to chat. If you want to participate, feel free to come hang out. at just uh, the, It's the link near the top of the description over on Twitch. So you can hear the chest to the left. He has 10k. This is enough for a loadout. Um, he has a UAV. That's clean. FFAR, he's good. He could probably get a ghost class and then just get a second weapon off the bat since the FFAR is plenty decent for a 1v1 in solos. And then maybe he just picks up his AUG loadout with the ghost. Um, and then he basically gets, that's it. He'd have a full loadout there. Still looting. Are there any buys nearby anyways? No, he kind of has a terrible buy. He can get this one down over here, but that one's kind of the middle of that little ice water area. And then this one's out in the open. The Bertha did rotate over here. So that's where that guy is looting. Unless he got killed. That guy could have been killed way over there. You hear the gunfire to the left. It is a burst weapon. Could be M16. Sounded a little bit faster. So probably the AUG, maybe a gold chest AUG. Or somebody who has a loadout. People could have the loadout by this point. But we're already down to 82 players. Zone 1 hasn't even closed. This guy does have packet loss. Or packet burst as it says there. It's a little three squares. Yeah, solos is no joke. The entire lobby dies. And people play slower. And I think people enjoy these ones. I hate solos. Um, when solos... Because you know, obviously when the game first came out, um, solos weren't in the game. I did a lot of uh, solo duo or solo trios, I think it was. And I would mess around with that. Um, and that dropped my KD quite a bit. Um, at the start of the game, but it was fun. You could run around Get a few kills here and there and then when they added solos I Played about six matches. I got my first win I played about five more and I got my second win I wasn't even trying to get wins in solos the second time I was trying to get into the bunker I found a key card. I walked over there or I walked over there. The guy just happened to be opening it That's what it was. So he's getting beamed from the, the, the yellow house. You just made a lot of noise. The guy should be right here He's gonna get 
Third party, you gotta get his gun. You gotta be careful. Yellow's right there. This guy's gonna be peeking him. He went with overkill class. Guy's in the house. Might be on the outside. No, I think he's in that little kitchen area. He's right in the middle. You gotta put this away. You're gonna get caught off guard. You know where the guy is. Put away the heartbeat. The guy could jump out on you at any moment. He's to your left, bro. You're gonna get killed here. Well, maybe... Where the hell did the guy go? Oh, he started running. Nope, he's behind you. He's gonna get... Third party, third party. Third party? What is this, bro? He killed the dude. The guy ended up mantling up, I think, or something. I don't know how he got up top. Dude, this guy's gone. <laughs> Put the thing away, dude. This guy is clueless. <laughs> I thought he was going to be semi-decent. He already has gold on his FFAR. He probably... He's like, how did this guy get up here? Oh. <laughs> no shot. This dude's still looking around. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we got a car 98. All right, a little bit of brave. I still don't know why this... He's just standing out in the open. He's like, where'd that guy go? Did he just not realize the dude rolled up, killed him, and that was it? Look at even his skin. At least he's not a rose skin. This tells us a lot about this player. Yeah, this dude's in love with the heartbeat. <laughs> yeah, he's watching a full-length video on there. There it is. There's the guy you fought earlier with the uh, CDL skin. Will he challenge you? No. You won't challenge him either. There we go. We're off-road trucking. Get the free loadout. That guy stopped. He's going to be peeking at you where the loadout dropped. That Bertha still... Why are you looking at the ground, bro? All right, cool. Now he has ghost overkill and he can see the footsteps tracker. Yeah, he has diamond on his FFAR and he has gold on his car 98. And he's just standing out. Oh, this guy is making all the mistakes. You got to kind of like peek a little bit, have a little bit of movement, bro. See, this is what happens. He, he, he ended up rolling up on those sweaty players and now we are spectating him. Guy not making it. You think top... What, what do you guys think? Top 20? Nah. There's no way he's trolling. No way. There it is. You gonna get out? Get out, get out. You're getting beamed. Toast this dude. I wanna, I wanna spectate the CDL skin. Toast him. He got no plates either. Aug him. Get him. He's only two, like one burst away. That's got to be connection based. What it looked like right there was so weird. Now nah, we've had some b pretty big bots in the series. This is definitely not the bodiest player we've seen. It looks like he's trailing behind him, but he's actually trying to line up the shot. Doesn't take the second shot. That's what everyone says. They wish they played people like this. Guess what? This is your lobby. If you ended up spectating people, you would have been on the loadout right now with the ones in your name, and you would have just got dumpstered like that. He has self-revive, pull up. There's somebody third partying. The guy's gonna self-revive next to you. You gotta thirst your kill. He's pretty confident. Wait, did it did it was it a thirst? I thought he downed him. I didn't think he thirsted him. And he's rolled up behind. Oh no, he did finish him off. He's dying here. He's dying. No plates. He's stuck. Come on. Finish him off. 1v1. No. There it is. There it is. You got a tracer pack. Dude, heartbeat again? How does he survive this? Oh my god. How is this surviving? Hopefully someone... Oh, he died in the window. Left him some plates. Yeah, just throw the dang gun at him at this point. My god, how did he survive that?
We will never know. There was two team, three teams, I think, involved there. Yeah, the heartbeat must have shielded him. This is his bounty right here. <laughs> How? How? How does this happen? The bounty just rolls up, sits there, and just says, Shoot me, bro. Shoot me. Keep in mind, this is after winning 9 out of 10 matches in all diamond lobbies. I can't imagine what this lobby is. I'm going to imagine it's going to be a platinum lobby. We'll find out after. But this is kind of ridiculous right here. What this is happening right here, I don't get it. He's, he's, he's proving everyone wrong right here. I don't get it. He literally had two of the bodiest kills. Like, one dude just standing there, and this dude just rolls up and says, Shoot me. I'm staring at you. Like, what? Yeah. Yeah, a heartbeat in the middle of nowhere. It makes no... <laughs> there it is. Look, look, look. Get him in the driver's seat. Oh, no, he's on your right. Oh, that guy won his gulag. That's the guy he sniped before. I'm pretty sure. That was the guy he sniped before he came up. Got the got the loadout. Mounting with the sniper, huh? His sense is a little bit too high. Because you can see it jerks a little bit. He's going to get sniped here. He doesn't have self. Wow, he's challenging that, huh? No plates. Oh, another body shot. Whoo, there it is. There it is. We got X's in the names. This guy has to be a sweat. This guy bunny hopping like crazy. Ended up wall banging him. Someone finally put the poor dude out of his misery. Here we go. Look at this guy, got the blueprint. He's loaded on some money. He's got to get himself revived in a UAV. There it is. Oh, not even self-revive. This dude's got the confidence. Six kills. One is Gulag. Oh, who is this guy? This wasn't the guy who killed him. The guy with the they killed him had X's in his name. He must have killed that guy. Yes. This guy's a little bit more aggro. Guy's on top of a building here. All right. It's going to end over here or somewhere. Airport, he's getting shot at. There's two teams over there, so now those guys know where each other's at. Why use the car? He needs mobility to get out of here. He needed a reload before he, he took off on this adventure, though. He could do one of those scabs, maybe get a satchel. He's low on plates, didn't get a self-revive. UAV, he should have popped one and bought another one if he's using this strat. Because then at least he could swap seats, pop a UAV, and keep it going. There's no Bertha over here either, a fire. Yeah, it is kind of toasted. This is a low health vehicle. I'll probably jump in that SUV over here. Get a new vehicle. Nope. He's just rotating. Gonna grab the bounty. This guy probably has a much higher KD. Auto attack, sprint. But you never know. Yeah, he should have got self revive. Yeah, at this point in the game, he already had his gulag. So nice. Easy kill. That was the bounty. Clean shots. He got the satchel he needed and 20k because of the bounty and the money. I'm driving. He got the other vehicle too. That was the one we were looking at. This is perfect. This is a terrible buy though. He might risk it though. There's a guy looking at him. There's a Bertha. He said screw it. Not worth it. Did he miss a daddy on that body? He must have missed one then. Chat says so, it must be true. Yeah, his movement is pretty decent. There we go, we got off-road vehicles. Well, he has enough to buy in advance if he wanted to buy the Super UAV. He definitely needs a self. He's out here in the open, he needs to be quick. We got recon okay, so he got the self. He bought a UAV, hanging on to another one. Makes sense. Daddy is dead silence.
Bertha, Bertha, Bertha. So there's no one in this area. Most people have ghosts. Well, that guy did not make it to top 20. We're our top 21 right now. Or top 22, but he's there's 21 players left. Somebody's in this uh, little hut right here. You can see him. He's probably going to push full aggro for that guy. But he's in between two teams. Because see where the cluster is? It seems like a missed cluster. Bertha's rolling up behind him. He can get third party pretty hard here. He just said, screw it. I don't, I'm not about that. This is kind of how you have to play solos, too. You have to play passive to a certain extent. Chat could even look it up if you want to look it up. We can find out what this guy's KD is live. If somebody wants to do COD Tracker. There he is with the riot shield. Nope, screw that. I'll leave that alone. Get a Bertha. He probably has a bouncing Betty under it. Nah. Oh, look at him. Oh, let me go get it. He even put it so the driver's sight would look at him. And there he is. He's dead. Boom. And there it goes. Diamati. What did this guy have? That Was that a floor loot? The Rolls T. Royce. Doesn't matter. It was a 1.79? Looked about it. This guy got eight kills. Self-revive. Got a precision. And he wants a little bit more money for this end zone, I guess. He's getting this uh, second scab here. No, Bertha's don't respawn. Not in this mode. In Plunder, they do. Probably like seven to eight minutes, they, they respawn. Enemy vehicle. There we go. You just destroyed your whole trophy? This guy, 319, got the nuclear calling card. He's probably a little bit more cracked for sure. This guy could get a 20 bomb in this lobby. He has the RAM. VLK. Nice. Armor box and a munitions. This dude's ready. He could just chill though. I think it just bugs out in the when you spectate when they're in a vehicle it messes up all the buttons. He's got 88 kills already. I think on his screen it probably looked different when he was shooting in the car. It probably didn't look the way it looked for us. They removed helicopters and solos because you know they weren't necessarily like viable. They need to get rid of I mean not viable. They were a little bit too strong at certain times. They need to get rid of these Berthas though. Free precisioning. Why? You need that for late game when the zone's small and you know you just blew up your only vehicle. Like what? That's not a new Oh, that's the free one they give you, huh? That's not a new calling card. At least he has munitions though. I wouldn't go out in the open here. Very risky. You're gonna get rolled up on. You can't get caught reloading either. Good nade. Put some damage into it. That guy's over at fire. Don't grab it. Don't grab it. Oh, he, he could have thrown another nade. He didn't need that at all. He literally wasted it. He could have dropped his ammo. Continued to fire on it. He, he literally got one nade out of that refill. Literally one nade. Yeah, he only got one nade out of that. They do need to get rid of them. It is hard to shoot them. You need to put like four full mags into them. Who's going to sit there and put four full mags into them? You probably abuse the Berthas and enjoy abusing the Berthas, you know? They 100%. Yeah, if you think Berthas belong in solo, you, you probably um, got free wins using Berthas. Like, there's no way. There's no way. They literally run you over. It, 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 they're terrible. They don't belong in the game. For solos... Duos, trios, quad, have at them. Two people to shoot it, very easy. Solo? Nah. Vehicle That's just here. bad. Yeah, no, because what happens is you start shooting the Bertha, and then you end up getting third party. He could throw two nades up there, too. If you want, you can actually throw two nades. It'll break and down them. Um, usually, if they don't have... Oh, he jumped off? 
He said, I'm stealing your Bertha. And he has a little squilling noise. I'm driving. Yeah, Bertha suck. They keep them in there because it makes their cheesy to win with. Requesting recon. Okay. That guy got out of his Bertha. Let's check out the zone. This is actually a pretty decent uh, zone for him. Fire is probably where you would stay. On the second level in fire where this guy was. Uh, you're being a loot goblin. You didn't need anything there. Yeah, a little off meta with the ram at least. He got out, he got out, bro. Played up. Got gas mask. Nice clean shots. Nice clean shots. At least he got two Berthas out of the game right there. Got two Berthas out of the game and got a precision. Yeah, they're definitely cheesing them. What do you mean? That's why they use them. Because they're complete cheese. That's why, like, the top leaderboard grinders are using them in solos. Because they are legitimately broken. I don't know what this guy's slide mechanic is all about. You got the daddy that the other guy left from earlier? Yeah, they're 100% cheese. I don't know what's going on here. He's putting on a show for the spectators. He probably is. Probably one of his boys is in the stream and said, Hey, you're in J-God's stream. You're live. I don't know. Maybe. We got, we got 3,200 people in here, which is just insane. Yeah, that is the weirdest. Let me stare at the ground. Let me stare at the ground. <laughs> See? Maybe unless there's... Because there's three spectators. There we go. No, don't use that yet. There's no vehicles in the final zone right now. You're good. Save it. Save it once you get a shift. Because this zone, he can move in. It's going to be a bad zone for him. Maybe he gets across the wall here. Because he can sit across the wall. He'll be in a bad spot, though. He's got to clear off his right side. What is he doing? You can hear the guy in here. He has to know. Get this dub, bro. Clean, clean. Oh, you need to hit one bullet there. Nice. Oh, you wasted two nades. Top five. Oh, man. Got 11 kills. He's going to be like top three in the lobby for kills. Probably it's only one other person has double digits, so it might be one or two. He had a good pull. I would get here. Here, you can use your precision. It'll be a perfect pull as they come across. They got to jump out. You have a perfect leverage. I wouldn't put it on the building, though. I'd put it right in the open where they got to cross. There it is. Perfect. Most are probably too, a little too early, but... Somebody might be making a play to your right. Nope. There they go. He got it down. 
Don't jump out, you're gonna get gas. You're gonna keep getting gas mask animation. There it is, he's crossing, he's getting shot at. Riot shield, nice shot. Clean strafe. 1v1v1. Another good rotate out in the open. Oh, that's the last kill. Beam him. No, you have an aid and a deadie. You can rotate early and you have cover. He doesn't. He's going to come out in the open. Out in the open. Watch out. You're dead. Boom. Got it. GG's. So as we saw, the lobby wasn't as sweaty as we thought it was. At least I thought it was a little bit sweatier the way some of the kills were going around, the action that we had in the beginning. But this ended up actually being a gold three. I'm not sure how I got that. I know solos typically has a little bit weaker skill-based matchmaking. Uh, but overall, this lobby was actually pretty soft. There wasn't a, a ton of top-tier players in the lobby, even though we had about 50 players that had a you know, above a 1.1, which is the top 30%. So the distribution of the lobby was pretty solid. Um, in terms of low skill, where did it cut off? Uh, we had some people that were on the lower end and plenty of new accounts. And that's kind of how that ended up going. Um, as far as kills, I was I was pretty accurate with it. This guy ended up uh, with the top kills with another person, which is pretty standard for uh, solos, duos, trios, quads. Most lobbies, if you're spectating or you're playing in, if you don't go over double digits, almost no one in the lobby is going to go over double digits with the exception of maybe one or two people. If you're doing it, you're probably one of those two people. And that's pretty much how it goes. Obviously, we're going to be continuing our regions where we spectate different regions with different people. Let me know if there's another region you'd like me to hit up. Um, I've already got a couple other ones lined up, which will obviously continue as part of the series. I do appreciate all the support and the content. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the like button again. Goal of 8,000 likes. If you're brand new, want to find your way back, just double check. Make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.